Tatanka has been shelved. I don't know yep. if you said shelved or cancelled. Um, I haven't watched this clip. It's just I'm reading the talk. I can say that independently of Colt's rumour, because it's the first time hearing of it, you saying that today, is that I have also heard the same. Me too. I got the DM about it last week. That the tank curiouser and curiouser. I didn't hear shelved. I heard cancelled. Yeah, I, I would use the word cancelled. Shelved would be cancelled. Yeah. Anyway, but uh, well, no, I'm shelved, looking forward shelved to... Shelved can mean you've put it on the back burner to go back to it. It's a DM I got, and if it was positive and it was, I was confident in it, I probably would have done it as a rumour mill or put a tweet out about it. But I'm not. Yeah. It's just... I'd heard similar because I and I'm only mentioning it. Colt and I wouldn't share a source. So if Colt has heard it independently around the same time I heard it, yeah. maybe word spread quite quickly once it happened. I've also heard some other things about three four three over the last week. I'm not going to talk about that are Make intriguing to me. That was Nick Baker from the Xbox Era podcast talking about the recent information that's been going around about the rumored Tatanka mode that was supposed to come to Halo Infinite, but now it sounds like it's either been shelled to put on the back burner, like they mentioned, or completely canceled. Also, if you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure to tap like. It's a great way to support the channel. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with everything going on with Halo. And let's get right into those details. And while Tatanka was never officially announced, it was the worst kept secret in gaming. For a frame of time reference, how long we've been talking about Tatanka. It was the first reported back on January 29th, 2022, basically two years ago, which this tweet from Certain Infinity saying that, that after 15 years of supporting Halo, they're actually deepening their relationship with 343. This was released just a few months after that report first came out. So it would kind of make sense that if you're going to deepen your relationship with 343, which Certain Infinity already had a pretty strong relationship with, that you think, okay, they're developing like a whole new experience, like a battle royale. And Max Hoberman, the head at Cern Infinity, who was a former Bungie developer who made like basically the online experience for Halo, said this about like untold project, which is their biggest project right now with 343. We, we have three projects. Well, th 3.1, I call it today. We have th three big ones and one small one. Um, w one of them uh, is a continued partnership with uh, 343. Um, which I can't go into the de details on. And th that's actually our biggest project today. One of them is, it's actually another totally unannounced uh, relationship, uh, co-development on something very big and very exciting that's brand new. Um, it's an original IP. Um, that's a smaller team, maybe around 30, 35 people. Also, Certain Infinity is working on an Xbox exclusive Monster Hunter like game codenamed Suerte. So, what could possibly be bigger than actually making your own game? I would have to think it'd be the worst kept secret of a battle royale for Halo. Of course, it wouldn't be a proper leaked information news if it wasn't inaccurately reported by IGN saying that the unannounced Halo battle royale reportedly been shelved and they cited that Xbox era conversation I just showed you guys, but you can see that he's like more like, I just heard this. It's not a confirmed fact. Now this might sound like, oh my God, big news right now. But honestly, if you've been paying attention to any Halo news that we've been covering on the channel here, it's been kind of like that for over a year now. The first time we heard any news about Tatanka being shelved, taken away or canceled in any kind of capacity was back in July of 23, which we covered here on the channel. This is covered from Sir Asia who dives deep into the API of Halo Infinite. That's where we got a lot of leaks and information about Tatanka was through the API. And if you scroll down a little bit here, you can see that the references to Tatanka were completely removed from the API back in July of 23, which we covered here on the channel. Now, removing Tatanka from the API doesn't mean that it was canceled or shelved at that point. It probably just meant that things were a little bit on hold and trying to figure out what they wanted to do moving forward, especially since 2023 was a really important year for 343 and the Halo franchise as those major layoffs happened at the beginning of the year. And I think 2023 was just a year for 343 and Microsoft to figure out what they want to do with Halo for the next five, 10 years. It was really just more of that in planning rather than actual execution, which the current plan looks to be support Halo Infinite's multiplayer for as long as it's possible to keep the Halo fans satiated, but also work on something else on the side that'd be the next big thing for Halo, which was confirmed by Sketch on a podcast. As I look further ahead, um, I definitely don't think Halo's best years are behind us. I think there are a lot of really cool, exciting things on the horizon. Some, some things are further out, 
folks that have been kind of keeping a keen eye might notice that we've started sort of posting some job job postings again. Um, I mean, the, the the winds are blowing. We are starting to to look ahead to the future. Um, I don't think we have anything to say on that front for quite a while, but, you know, I mean, Infinite, as good as it is, and as more great things there are still to come, um, the studio has ambitions that that reach beyond Infinite, and I'm very, very excited and energized to sort of take all the cumulative 25 years and all the learnings from Infinite and, and apply that to what could be next. And that's the first time we heard any information about what's happening with Halo after Halo Infinite. We knew that Halo Infinite originally had that 10 year plan, which obviously things have not gone according to that plan. And so that means that Halo Infinite has an end date at some point, 343 might not even know, Microsoft might not even know, but they probably have a rough idea within a year or two when they want to release this am next ambitious title of Halo and possibly cancel Halo Infinite's live service. It's gonna be really interesting what 343 does moving forward with the Halo franchise. If they're gonna try to branch out to do some new things or they're gonna try to maintain the core audience that they already have. Because I think right now with Halo and the state of the franchise, if you just release like another standard 4v4 multiplayer experience with maybe some big team battles, kind of like what we've experienced for the last 20 odd years or so that it wouldn't really be that exciting to the general gaming audience or even myself included even though i do love it i want something cool and new to do in halo and i feel like 343 really nailed it with the multiplayer of halo infinite so if you're going to release another like 4v4 experience and their big team battle experience Honestly, I would just want Halo Infinite again. My biggest hope with these new ambitions that are beyond Infinite is that they maintain the gameplay that they have right now with Infinite, but then try to mix that up in some kind of new way to create some new crazy modes or some new campaign or some new crazy like attached experience like a battle royale. You can still try that. Now extraction shooters seem to be the new cool thing. So with the current state of Tatanka, it's not really fully known what's happening. Is it shelved? Which means like I would agree with the podcast clip that it's going to be coming back at a later date for more development time. Canceled means we're just dropping it all together likely what has happened is that there was a good amount of development time that's been put into what Tatanka would have been or could have been and so there might be some elements from that they might be able to grab and put it into something else. What I'm saying is that a new large-scale battle experience could still very much happen within the Halo franchise. It just really comes up to 343 and Certain Affinity how they want to put it all together. For an analogy think of it like it's spaghetti night. You get spaghetti like every Thursday night right but sometimes spaghetti have sausage instead of ground beef. Sometimes you get some garlic bread. Sometimes it will come with red pepper flakes on it. So you're still getting spaghetti, but sometimes I'll just mix it up in a different way so then you can don't have the same exact experience. I have a feeling that's what might be happening with the development cycle right now with Tatanka, where they might be using some aspects of it to recycle, to repackage into something else that might be a little bit more on the forefront of gaming rather than following trends, because following a battle royale trend right now, it's kind of late in the game. You have such established IPs already within that sphere of Fortnite, Call of Duty, Apex. They even though Halo could definitely have a foothold within that gaming sphere, I don't really think that it could even come close to competing with the numbers that those games have. Not that Halo can't make a good battle royale, so what I'm saying is that they have, have such a long established foothold within the gaming environment that people would come to expect the new battle royale to play like those, but maybe just a little different. Of course, this is a developing story and I'll cover more as soon as we get some information about it. But until then guys, thank you all for watching. Check out these videos if you've missed any content from me recently and thank you all for watching. Peace out.